Hey folks, welcome to Bloom with Gardens. I'm your host, Kenneth. Today's video is going to be a short one about what has been going on around the garden the past two weeks. Due to recent events around my household, I wasn't able to make a video last week, but as you can see, we've got honeybees and I couldn't be more excited. In a previous video, I made a solitary bee hotel and while I haven't seen any activity in those just yet, I have seen more solitary bees in the garden lately. But the real surprise was when I awoke one morning and saw honeybees buzzing around from flower to flower in my plants in my garden. Whether any bees eventually move into those hotels or not, I believe intention does matter, and I've been blessed with the arrival of some honeybees to help with pollination. Not sure if you guys can see this, but the ground is moving beneath here. I have an ant infestation on my little Meyer lemon tree here. And it's not just in the tree well. but they're all over my compost as well. Now, I'm not sure what exactly is going on. I don't see any aphids on this tree. We have both the, both of the uh, fire ants or the red ants, but there's also flying ants from the same colony on this. I might take some research, but what happened, I think, last night is we had a really good rainstorm and their home got flooded out. Either way, I brought one of these taro liquid ant bait traps, which have been very effective for me. Um, they seem to be a rather non-toxic to the garden way of dealing with ant control. And here's a shot of what look, things look like after a recent rainstorm. As you can see from this shot, there's a lot of runoff going on in the desert behind the house. This area is normally completely flat and does not have riverbeds or washes. But you can see the water taking a path of least resistance and just flowing along on what looks like three separate streams. And here's what things look like immediately behind my house in the wash, the man-made wash behind our house. Not flowing very fast, so there's not a whole lot of runoff making its way into this wash. And as I pan down here, you can see just a little bit more. In this area of the garden, you can see the flooding that has taken place. I designed this portion to take advantage of the rainwater coming off my roof. The raised beds themselves seem to handle the extra water fairly well and drain while the excess collects in the path, is eventually soaked up by the wood chips, and is retained in this area of the garden. And the eensy-weensy spider crawled up the spout again. <laughs> 